my name is David Omick. Um, I uh, am a designer uh, and user of composting toilets. I've been uh, using composting toilets for almost 25 years. This composting toilet is a um, waterless toilet that utilizes microbes to break down human sewage into a nutritious plant fertilizer known as compost. Okay, so this is the barrel composting toilet system. This particular system involves two barrels, uh, which is uh, the size required for one person in full-time use. Uh, to determine sizing, you basically take the number of adults who will be using the toilet full-time, plus one is the number of barrels uh, required in the system. So for two people in full-time use, it takes three barrels. These barrels are 55 gallon plastic drums. Um, they are made of high density polyethylene. They are fully recyclable and uh, widely available. And one of the reasons we chose them is sort of the basis of the design uh, for those reasons, and also relatively inexpensive. Um, the toilet consists of the barrel, a wooden top, which is uh, finished with a waterproof finish, toilet seat, a three-part ventilation system, and you'll notice uh, uh, that we have two barrels here. The top is removable, so the barrel is basically used until it's about three-quarters full. Then the top is removed and set over an adjacent barrel, and that barrel is used until it's full. Now, the barrel that has the top on it and that is being used on a day-to-day -day basis is known as the active barrel. So to talk a in a little more detail about the various components of the toilet, uh, why don't we start with the toilet seat. Uh, this is an ordinary uh, round toilet seat. Uh, we have added uh, closed cell adhesive foam weather stripping around the lid and around the seat. The function of these is to keep insect vectors that we talked about earlier in the introduction from entering the toilet. Um, right behind the toilet seat, you'll see three uh, plumbing fittings. These are uh, uh, vent part of the ventilation system. Uh, this vent tube goes to an exterior vent for indoor applications. For exterior applications, uh, the, this vent is not necessary. Um, you'll notice on the vent that it is covered in fly, aluminum fly screen. The function of this is also to keep flies from entering the toilet, as well as rodents and, and other animals. Uh, the top is secured to the um, uh, top of the barrel with locator bolts and also with springs. Um, once the toilet is mostly full and the top needs to be moved from the active barrel to the adjacent barrel, which now becomes the active barrel, it's just a matter of undoing four springs, one at each corner, lifting the barrel up and setting it on the adjacent barrel. Um, now you'll notice that the adjacent barrel this is an aging barrel. This one already has been used and it was, is, uh, was about three quarters full. The compost has now gone down a bit because that's part of what happens in the composting process. Um, you'll notice that it is covered in insect screen, again, to keep uh, flies and, and other insect vectors uh, out of the barrel. Uh, the screen is secured to the barrel with a cord and spring assembly that provides an effective seal all around the perimeter so that flies cannot get in uh, to the barrel. You'll also notice that these barrels are buried in the ground. This is an, uh, a, an outdoor application here. Um, for an indoor application, the barrels would just sit right on the floor and there'd be steps going up to the, uh, to the barrel. But in uh, in outdoor applications, it's really more convenient oftentimes just to bury the barrels. One thing I'd like to point out is that there are no holes in the bottom of the, drilled into the bottom of the barrels. Everything, liquid and solid, that goes into the toilet stays in the toilet. 
Uh, again, as I mentioned in the introduction, this is a zero discharge system, and that's an important uh, 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 health safety aspect of this design. So one other aspect of, of uh, the design of this toilet that um, uh, we've been striving for is uh, to come up with a design that is uh, relatively affordable. Um, uh, the, the barrel composting toilet uh, set up for two people in full-time use should cost in the neighborhood of uh, 300 to $350. Uh, this is uh, much less expensive than a standard commercial uh, composting toilet system. So with that, why don't we begin with the construction? Uh -huh.